Hello, Nami Tsunami here, and I found this one right here, which I thought was really neat, um, because I'll explain. So, as you can see, it's called the Accidental Savior. Since 1963, John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? So, um, basically... This book's in another game. Uh, the game is called Gone Home. Basically, the thing of the thing about this is with Gone Home, you play the older daughter to the author of this book. She basically came home, so <laughs> probably play that on the channel eventually. But yeah, um pretty much how it went. So, like, she came home. I just thought that, uh, significance was really cool. But anyway, we are going to Ruby River to scout camp in hopes to find, um, something of use from the firefighters of a controlled burn that they left behind or something. To open up the gate at uh, Wapiti Meadow. Or something. Something on that ride, so yeah. Here's Ruby River. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Oh, shit. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Port Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Port Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. That's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. I found the camp! Thank you, Laga. Thank you. At the camp. Oh, whoa. what the fuck? Shelters and stuff like that. Hmm. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I think a weeble would do it. 
It's another Mitch Michaels. And I'm over here, Mitch Michaels. I will tell her about this, so I'm sure. Assume because of that. Yeah, these guys are gone. Found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Hmm. Hey, D, they left. Here's a memo. Squad boss Grant Carson, seventeen. <laughs> Wyoming interagency hotshot crew, paint rock razor. Ranger District, 1220, North, and 8th Street, Grable, Wyoming, 82426. Respond, Dr. Simmons, at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region, Squad Boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of the Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line scout south of the Ruby River. If I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station, he reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measures and protecting their site even though they'll be more than a mile away but I think they've got insurance companies to answer to thanks as always for your service Rich Slusarenko anything anything no I would do it. Um, yeah, I had no control over that for a second. Wait, I'm waiting in a circle. Stop. You're big. Yep. Back to what but he stays
out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone lookout would be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door, don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Here's the day 77. She never recalled. <laughs> Oh shit. He's not touched any of his food. I'm disappointed in him. He's not eating any of his food. I understand he's in a stressful situation, but you need to fucking eat, dude. 